Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. Uh, we've got a second video review of the second kit sent from uh, Blue Cat Models, which is a new company. Um, the first release was this one, the uh, SDKFC10 uh, DMAG Type D7 Leisure Zulkraftwag Wagon 1T. Um, with uh, 140 scale, obviously 85 parts and 106 millimeters in length. Now the second kit is what appears to be the same model, but in a, in a Douche Africa Corps uh, version, but 98 parts and 108 millimeters in length. So I'm guessing there's something on the tail end of it, but we'll go ahead and do a separate video review on this one. If, if you want to catch the other review, it was uh, it, it preceded this one. So. Um, Let's go ahead and open it up. Again, I'll kind of comment on the box and packaging for a new company. This is out of Switzerland. Um, they've done a lot of CAD uh, stuff for the box. The front image is a CAD drawing, obviously, with a photo in the background. Um, it could be a little nicer marketing-wise. I just point that out to them, but I, you know, they'll certainly, I think, sell kits for being in this 148 scale genre and, and obviously, uh, Offering stuff that uh, probably other model or model companies will not be offering. So let's go ahead and open this one up. And got a little missing seal broken there. Um, all right. Well, let's see if we've got uh, a little piece of plastic that fell out. Not sure that that goes to anything, but we'll set that aside just in case. And uh, let me get uh, instructions out of the way and. Let's take a look at the first one we looked at last time, which um, appears to be the same. Um, the uh, this is the obviously the main. Uh, you know, let me lower my camera down again. We'll get in here closer, closer. Okay, take my auto focus off. There we go. All right, so yeah, the the main. Uh, Chassis, I guess you want to call it, even though it's not really the, technically the chassis, but the, the main body of the vehicle. We've got uh, the hood area here. Um, I'm not sure what this ring is. Uh, again, I'm not really so uber knowledgeable about the vehicle itself, so bear with me. Um, again, for, for 148 scale, this is a very, a very hard uh, 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 you know, beige styrene plastic. Um, it's indicated here. Ah, oh, here we go. Um, some interesting little factoids I didn't notice in the first one. This one actually is marked as made by MPM production. Uh, MPM obviously has been around for a little bit, so what we're seeing here is obviously a reusage re of their original molds and probably with new, uh, other new bits, uh, marketing and so forth. Let's see if that's also on the other one. And it is made by MPM. So MPM production maybe did the plastic injection for them. Also could be the other alternative explanation. All right, so let's, we've got the uh, radiator grill area. It's pretty nice. I don't know if you can really see the the detail in there. Um, definitely not with my focus. But let me see if I can get in a little closer. And, nope, this way. So I know some. My hands a bit shaking there, but anyways, there is some nice uh, grill, grill uh, work in there. Grill, uh, radiator grill, so you can see. Um, just hold on, trying to get my focus again. All right, there we go. Um, so again, uh, looking good. The, the little windshield wipers are kind of delineated here on the top of the the uh, windshield and framing. And let's go ahead and look at the. Uh, Tracks are bendable as per the instructions. You bend them around the the, um, the rear uh, track assembly. Um, these pieces are obviously all solid as a single piece. Um, and uh, flip them around again for the gas cans. Give quite a few jerry cans, like on the other one. This is essentially the same piece. It looks identical, anyways. Um, so, with that in mind, again being pretty much identical, let's go ahead and show the. the the decals, the decals. Let me get a little closer on those. And uh, there we go. And again, we have a couple of these pieces that seem to have fallen off. Not really sure. That looks like a seat. Yeah, that is a seat. And uh, then we have a piece of uh, clear plastic styrene for a windshield, which I just flipped across my desk. And again, fairly straightforward on that as well. Uh, instructions. Bring our camera back out in here. 
thing not to damage those instructions. Basically, uh, they are a uh, color process print uh, with you know color images on the front there and back, and the rest are in uh, in uh, black and white line art. Pretty good, uh, pretty good instructions, I would say. Um, they do show you here on the like on the uh, the tread how you're gonna have to bend these around essentially. Um, and then I guess again, this is the additional length. I'm guessing is the back section here, um, which may be included with the other kit. It's just not meant to be used. I'd have to dig out the instructions on the other one to check. But uh, let's just go ahead and work that real quick, just as a point of reference. Um, and we shall see if that is what the, the primary difference is. Uh, yes, because here are here is the instructions for the other kit, so we can see. I was right. Um, this one does not show this this uh, additional stowage unit being employed, and there's where that ring goes, by the way. Um, so the ring's not used in this this kit, I'm guessing. So now we see the difference between the Deutsche Afrika Corps and the regular uh, non DAC version. So, well, okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this little mini mini uh, review. We're gonna hopefully have this kit up in a written review, either built or unbuilt. Uh, and you can get it uh, get more photos and information with that. Thanks for watching.